really hard for me to trust a soul Said they would be here, but they gone Lost a couple niggas, they live on What's thicker than blood, I don't know What's good, what's good, what's good to y'all behind that for game Ooh, it's your boy Ashton, it's back with a brand new video And we doing some more just neck beard things I may or may not have taken a quick glimpse at this and already got scarred for life So now y'all are gonna get inflicted with it because we are a family and we get inflicted with things together If I get scarred for life, y'all get scarred for life too, nigga If there was a video game with game relationships, I wouldn't buy it Gay and my scent just creeps me out. So if there was a video game that heavily featured it, I would just skip it. I don't hate homos or anything, but I find displays of gay affection kind of gross. Not that I think they shouldn't be happy together. Exception. If you do attract the females, yeah, that will satisfy me. Uh, yeah, gotta love a good old fashioned double standard. Gotta love a good old fashioned. Uh, I think homosexuality is terrible, but like two girls, like don't get me wrong, two girls, like two guys going at it, two guys just, just having a little sword fight. Nah, nah. but two girls scissoring it out. Oh, yeah, let's do it. My the birthday, my grandma gave me a Bible. On my 20th birthday, I gave it back to her in two pieces. So, you mean to tell me it took you 10 years to cut a Bible in half? To cut some leather and paper in half with the sword? With this sword right here? It really seems like a very common trait with a lot of neck beards for them to have pedophilic characteristics and tendencies. I saying cute. A mother kissing her young child, son, her young son. Criminal. A father kissing his young daughter, what I would presume. I wrote the oh, gibberish, holy shit. A father kissing his son before he goes to school. Then, still cute. A mother kissing her daughter before she goes to school. Look, I think you got the wrong thing in mind, bro. I, got, I think you got the wrong thing in mind. Let's just say that. Some female I hadn't spoken in ages to today and she forced me to do something I regret doing now. Hey, blank. Oh, hey, what's up? Not much. Oh, you grew your hair out. Yup, is that, what is that in ponytail? It looks stupid like that. Exactly, that's the point, huh? I'm trying to remain single and I noticed that I look more attractive to more women with my hair down. So I'm keeping it up so I remain single. Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Whoa, um... I undid the ponytail and let my hair down and look at her. Yeah, as I said, puts ponytail back up. Oh, with the smiley face. Don't awe me. It's standing up. Only went down to prove a point. Anyways, I gotta get going. Message me later. Alright, bye. Cheer up, will you? You have to see me as a hot guy. Not many get to these days. So cheer the fuck up and giggle. I am not taking down this ponytail in anyone's company. Only at my own house. When it's just me and my roommates. Last thing I need is women chasing me or guy friends going gay for me. Nothing against gay, so long as it's not directed towards me. I really wonder what made him type all of this. Like, come on, bro. You had on up until you had on up until you finished the dialogue to decide. Maybe this post is not a good idea, and. You made the entire post with even a little footnote and posted this. And now it's on the internet forever for people to see. Like, yo, yo, this looks like something that I would type out in middle school. And from what the looks of it, it looks like a grown man type that. And that looks just terrible. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. I, yeah, I can't show y'all this, but we're gonna show it anyway. And that's why it's blurred out. I can't show y'all what's right, really right there. It's why the black box is there. But whatever you just imagine in your head, it's probably better than what it actually is. And I feel even more uncomfortable that I have to put this on my computer to edit this video. Hey, Joey, this is your overdriver from tonight. Jeffrey, I just realized I forgot to give you a promo code. Use the code CUTIE for a free ride. 
But only valid if you use it on the way to dinner with me. And look at this nigga, bro. Like, look at the way he's taking pictures. He's got that you got games on your phone type shit in his profile picture. And you Uber X, my guy. Uber X. He's supposed to be he's supposed to be a little fancy, you know what I'm saying? And you try to when you tell a neck beard being the low least is pedophilia, which it is, because bro, like I said before in the past. I think it's very odd that like, it's one thing to be turned on by fictional characters, but it's a whole different thing. And it's completely odd when you really take into account that most of those fictional characters are like 15 or 12 in their show. <sighs> Sex instructor. First lesson free. Uh, yeah, you might not want to wear this shirt, my guy. Like, not only does it make, like, come on, bro. Like, we're not going to ignore the fact this dude looks like Boogie2988 and Carrot Top mixed together. On a photo of a suicide girl, this guy says that. Your love and the beauty of rare gem, I can feel and see it by glancing in your eyes. And that's really hard to find. It would truly be a blessing to... Be the one person in my billions that you're only one that she wants to wake up with in the morning. To feel that once would be the most loving feeling in the world at that very moment. I know I found you and found what I've been missing my whole life. Come on, bruh. Bruh. Look. Professing your love for girls you don't know or you just met never ends well, my guy. That may have ended well in like middle school, early high school, but and you'd probably like in middle school got like a kiss or like a hug or something. In high school you may have got to clap some cheeks, but now that bro, no, no, adulthood this shit don't work, bruh. It makes you look like a serial killer or even worse, it gets you here like it did. F in the chat for this dude. Oh gosh, it's it, it's him, y'all. It's it's the bidet. He's back. He's back. Nah, psych. It's some other nigga named Kenjiro. Yeah, with a name like Kenjiro, you know this dude is an absolute cool sound, bro. Go inside. My name is Ken Sama. I'm a 27 year old American otaku. And my friends were you Asians. <laughs> I draw anime and manga on my tablet and spend days perfecting art and playing superior Japanese games. Looking for a cute anime e girl to have sex with. <laughs> hey y'all, come look at this! <laughs> Legend has it, this is the most liked tinder profile in the history of tinder are those facts just pulled out the back of my head just to try to make a little funny segment on this video or is it facts pulled from an anti-vax website that has been updated in the past 10 years you decide which one is a funny which one is more fun to believe what if i told y'all i know a neck beard in real life i used to work with one in my old job this dude was like a full-on stereotypical neck beard when i only thing is, he wasn't fat and he did not wear fedoras. At least for the fedora part, I hope so. And around me, and then like pictures that I saw, and when I saw him off the clock, he did not wear fedoras. But I don't know what he did in private. But he had a lot of neck beard tendencies. When I tell you this dude had a lot of neck beard tendencies, I want y'all to listen to me when I say this. This dude blew his entire paycheck on a collectible sword, a $300 collectible sword off of eBay and had to borrow money for rent. This is a true story. Now I think he knows my channel and he might see this video. I don't fucking care. I really don't give a fuck. Dark skinned niggas never fold 10 toes. And then like another story of him I got is like, yo, this dude was like, cause look, it ain't nothing wrong having your nerdy quirk shit. I am, to those of y'all who don't know, I am a huge Fallout fan. It's nothing wrong with having your nerdy quirks. But it becomes a problem when you start trying to smash the characters from the, from the game, movie, or show. Or when you are spending your entire paycheck to the point you have to borrow money for rent on a collectible item. 
And this dude's hygiene is terrible as well. But look, that's a story for another day. Y'all comment 1% if you made it to this part of the video. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the Pineapple Game PGF fam. If you are new here, my name is Activist and I upload every single day, Monday through Sunday, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Be sure to hit the bell and you subscribe so you make sure you never miss a video of any other content I have coming your way. If for some reason you still don't get your notifications, you can check my social media description down below. I update all those manually, including YouTube community tab. I also have a merch shop, which is 100% optional. Helps promote the channel and improve the videos. It's still 100% optional. Till next time, I'll see you on the next video tomorrow, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Deuce. I ain't going easy. This won't be the end of me. I do this for my people, they can feel my energy. I know they hating on me cause they all afraid of me. I'm grinding for my families where I'm finna build a legacy.